For how long shall children be orphaned because of marital conflict? This is the story of Elisha Morimba, a man who had spent almost two decades in the diaspora. He still provided for his family back home in Mutare. He had a wife, Victoria, and three children who lived in a beautiful house in New Borderville, a low density suburb in Mutare. He had invested in his wife's businesses, which included a restaurant, a wedding decor service, and a garden venue. He seemed to have everything he wanted, but behind the scenes, he was a troubled and an unhappy man. He was suspecting her of infidelity because of living apart for 25 years. Finally, after all these years, he decided to quit his job and settle back home with his family. He expected open arms in a happy household, but Victoria had learned to live without him and was angry that he had had women in the UK. This made her distant and unwelcoming, which rubbed Elisha the wrong way. His anger began to inflate and his ego became too fragile. He felt betrayed and alone as he no longer had a strong bond with his children and his wife was avoiding him. On the 9th of September 2017, Victoria and Elisha retired to bed at around 8 p.m. on a Friday night. The couple's daughter said her mother came to her bedroom around the same time and told her that she wanted to spend the night in her room with her. She said that her mother was showing signs of distress and fear, but she later changed her mind, maybe fearing what her children would think about the state of their marriage, and went back to the main bedroom where Elisha was sleeping. This was the last time their daughter saw Victoria alive. The following morning, the couple did not emerge from the bedroom until around 11 a.m. She was worried so she decided to make a follow-up. When she opened the door, she realized that her mother was still in bed under the covers. But when she opened the blankets, this is when she saw her body lying in a pool of blood. Her mother's throat had been slit open with an unknown object. She screamed and raised an alarm. The neighbors rushed to the scene and called the police. Elisha Murimba had committed the unthinkable and sliced open his wife's throat with a kitchen knife, killing her in cold blood. He had fled the scene, leaving behind a gruesome sight and a five-page suicide note in which he revealed his motives and grievances. He accused his wife of being unfaithful, ungrateful, and disrespectful to him and to his family. He claimed that she had sidelined him in the family business despite his financial contribution. He also said that she had treated him with contempt and indifference and that their relationship was devoid of love and intimacy. He wrote that he had done what he did because he could not take it anymore. He hoped that his children would understand and forgive him. He predicted his death by saying, I can see vultures circling my death. Yes, I will die, but on my terms. I was willing to forgive her for whatever passed, but to have her run off to another man or woman, I just cannot stomach that. She has refused to let go of a dark side association, and these have become her advisors. I won't be tortured as it has happened in the past many years. The tragic case of Elisha Murimba and his wife Victoria raised many questions and speculations about what had really driven him to commit such a heinous crime. Some people believe that he had planned the murder for a long time and that he had been driven by greed and jealousy. Others suggested that he suffered from some mental and emotional problems and that he had snapped under the pressure of living in a foreign country and dealing with marital conflict. Whatever the truth may be, the fact remains that Elisha Murimba and his wife Victoria are no more and that their children are left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Their story is a sad and cautionary tale of how a seemingly happy and successful marriage can turn into a nightmare and how a man who had everything can lose it all in a moment of madness.